Hi darling, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London based content creator. So this video is basically to advise you on things to do in London for Valentine's Day. I've called it Valentine's Day because of the season, obviously it's timely and that's the right time to put this kind of videos. But then again, if by any chance you find yourself in London with intentions to do stuff that is romantic with your significant older partner or even girlfriend, these things I'm going to list are perfect suggestions and ideas for things you could do if you're in London. Done. without further ado we'll go straight into this please subscribe if you haven't click the bell button after you do that and make sure you click the like button before you even start watching the first suggestion is to dine at a top valentine's restaurant in london i mean romantic restaurant with views restaurants like sky garden the oxo tower restaurant the hutong in the shard and if you're a vegetarian there's this one called vanilla black which is really good for vegetarians <laughs> restaurants are really beautiful and then you definitely have a time of your life with that person number two we couldn't go any more british than an afternoon tea so indulging in a valentine's afternoon tea will be something good for now and just a regular classy afternoon tea would be good for any other time you're visiting during the year there's afternoon teas that are quite quirky which um, occur on the bus or on the red bus you have afternoon tea so if that's your kind of vibe you should go for that one and then just some expensive ones like at the ones at the reeds um the browns hotel claridge's the dorchester yeah hotels like that have like really really classy and quite um, expensive afternoon tea usually about 50 pounds to like 75 pounds so yeah it just depends on what your budget is and there are obviously some low ones like the wallace or sachi gallery where you have afternoon tea as well at very okay budget prices the third one is to enjoy a valentine's day concert so at the cadogan hall there's the orchestral valentine's day concert also at, um, there's the one called carmen is at the london coliseum there's so many concerts that will be um, slated for february 14 february 15 and 16 that weekend so just look out for concerts but concert is a very lovely way to spend time with that significant older partner or friend number four i would say visit cool places in london london is it's always giving there's so many beautiful places you can see in london um you can just go to west end like a musical my favorite musical is the lion king guys but there are so many of them and then there's so many budgets for these things as well but i really really love the lion king lion king is a theater um play that i would watch over and over again The fifth suggestion I would say is a fun workshop. Workshops like sip and paint where you sit down, sip some champagne or just any drink or wine or whatever and then you're just being a Picasso and painting whatever with your partner, your friend or your lover. You can also do stuff like cooking with Cupid. It's a Valentine's Day cooking class with bottomless alcohol and a dinner with such a great vibe. Um, this happens at the Avenue Cookery School and it's going to be happening on the 14th of February. I'm going to put links to all these activities I'm mentioning, guys, so you can easily book if you're ever coming to London now or whenever for a romantic time. Number six, I would suggest a comedy show. There's nothing like laughing with someone you love or someone you like or your friends. So yeah, there are a lot of comedy shows at Leicester Square, Covent Garden. If you're Nigerian or African, Basketball is actually coming to the Brixton O2 for a comedy show. So just make sure you get your tickets and find yourself there so you laugh your head out and just be more in love. <laughs> Every time that the comedian comes on stage, everybody wants him to drop the best jokes at the end. But when you go to your office or office, say you work in the bank, you go to bank, you are stronger at the beginning, 9 a.m. <laughs> Around 3 o'clock, 2, you are tired. You want to go. It is not different for us. Number seven, as I told you, London is always giving the places to see. So you can take a romantic walk to um, an iconic place and then just enjoy the views. For places like the London Eye, they have the champagne experience that you can have with your partner. This unbelievable experience, a really nice time. Also, there's dinner cruises. There's one called the Bateau Dinner Cruise, and there's a lot of other dinner cruises on the river themes. Go there, have fun, have a meal, and then just look at that water moving on the boat. And you can also just Take a stroll. There are beautiful places like Hampstead Heath, Primrose Hill, Greenwich Park, 
stunning places so just take a stroll hand in hand with your partner your friend or whoever take lovely pictures and just enjoy london because london is beautiful um if you're adventurous yeah i would say this eighth one is for you you can go on a speedboat ride these speedboat rides are not like the boto dinner cruise ones so you literally be on the boat that is just like speeding there's water everywhere everyone's holding each other if you loved an adrenaline kick, it's such a way to have fun. I'm going to put a link to the speedboat ride down in the description as well. You can also whiz down the slide at the orbits. Yeah, that's that's really lovely. And number nine, which is the one I'm going to be partaking in this weekend, is a getaway. It could be a spa break, it could be a spa stay with your significant order, your friend or whatever. So I'm going to put a link, a link to the place I'm going to be going to. I'll also put a link to like Champlis and other places you can always like. I'm, I'm going to put a link to like a list of places you can go so it depends on the vibe you want to have around your environment of the place you're going for the spa break if i want a countryside vibe like i did you can want a city one you can just be a spa day where you go have the spa and then come out have a meal or whatever you can also like have a two nice three nice whatever it is but yeah having a spa break where you get like massage or facial or whatever it's just a lovely way to spend valentine's day weekend or even just a time in london a romantic time in london yeah, so for London, there are some hotels that are actually like romantic <laughs> on their own. So there's a Hilton Hotel in Sion Park. Sion Park is not really far from Richmond, but it has, it's in, it's in London, but it still has like this countryside vibe. So that's one I would suggest to you. I'll put a link to that. I'll put a link to other ones so you can make your choice. Last but not least, number 10, good old Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill is something I think I'm going to do as well. So yeah, Netflix and chill obviously is you maybe ordering food in, you guys getting alcohol as well or wine or whatever it is you drink and then just being at home looking at the tv watching a tv show something motivational just whatever it is that tickles your fancy when you look at the tv that's like netflix and chill you could have ice cream you could have whatever it is you love to eat but it's just basically being cuddled up and then enjoying that um stay at home instead of going out so basically these are the 10 suggestions i'm giving you guys as for me i'm going to have a meal do the netflix and chill thing on when on friday which is the main valentine's day i'll probably vlog it i'll try and vlog it i'll just try and vlog my whole weekend and then on saturday to sunday i'm, go I'm going out with my friend for a spa um stay spa night somewhere in around essex so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that to be honest guys. I can't wait to go there, I can't wait to create content there, I can't wait to take pictures there for my next project. If there's any questions you have, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. As I said, all the links to all these activities will be down below. So make sure you go click, 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 book, book, book. And it doesn't have to be right now. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's. Just anytime you're feeling really like, I just want to spoil myself, you could come to this video, go to the link, click, click. I'm not going to blog it, I don't think I'm going to blog this. But yeah, just go to the video, click, 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 and see you. I hope you guys have a wonderful time this holiday if you're single don't worry just hook up with your friend or just watch tv you don't even have to make this thing affect you normally i don't take valentine's day seriously it's just that this year i'm not traveling much so i decided to treat myself well so that i can face the year head on after february so that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed make sure you do just click the subscribe button click the bell right beside it drop a comment because i love to read from you if you can't do any of these things just click the like button because it helps my video go all around see you on the next episode Bye bye